Hello. Maybe over here. Oh, that's fine. There oh, we thank go. Thank you, Scott. Can I help you? <laughs> <laughs> yep. I double as a uh, technician, radio technician as well. If you can <laughs> if you can double my money or triple my money like everybody else you do, yeah, I'll love you forever. Hey, we're talking about love today. Hey, my, love. Favorite, my favorite subject. Yeah, no kidding. It's an interesting word, love, you know. Uh, it has a lot of meanings. So I'm watching this guy. Uh, I, I watch the Today Show every morning while I'm drinking my coffee and and having my raisin bread. Have you ever had raisin bread? I love raisin oh, bread. Oh, my God. It's the I'm, best I, ever. I, 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 I Really? Ever since I, I was a little kid, I used to. I know. To, me, yeah. too. It's amazing how much we have in common. I know. I could every time we talk, we find something. I could new. live, I could exist on raisin bread and love alone. Yep. So, Absolutely. Yeah. So we have uh, uh, a new friend and an old friend on with us today. Dave Krager has been with us before. Yes. He is America's number one video web guy. I mean, if yeah. you're going to be able to website. Storyteller, right? Yeah, he's yeah. a storyteller. He does it with videos, and he did it with uh, this word love. And then uh, our guest today, John Pogashar from Spokane. You ever been to Spokane, Washington? I have been to Spokane. I could live there right this second. It. Me yeah. too. Act- actually, you know what they say about Spokane? No. You live in Spokane because it's tax free, but all you gotta do is drive to the east minutes. about you know yeah. about five minutes to the east oh. and you're in freedom. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so well, we call the show the Edge Radio Show. Emily's producing the show with her assistant Patty. Uh, yeah, that's how it rolls today. Hi, Emily. How are you? Can you say hi to everybody? I want everybody to hear your voice. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hi, Emily. <laughs> and you can chime in anytime you want. Okay. All right. Yeah, my permission. All right, thanks. You're listening to award winning The Edge Radio Show on a KHTS 98.1 FM, 1220 AM. So let me welcome right to the show John Pogashar. John, welcome to Southern California. Welcome to Los Angeles, uh, New Hall. Uh, San Fernando Valley, uh, where else we are? Santa Cruz Valley. Santa Cruz Valley, Palmdale, Lancaster. Antelope Valley. Antelope Valley. So, John. And beyond. Yeah. John, how are you? Say hi to everybody. Hello, everybody. Yeah. And I am just, I'm just fantastic, and I'm just so honored to be on this show today. Well, we're honored so to have you. And then I also yeah, want to bring you. in our friend Dave Krieger. How are you, Dave? Hey, Coach. Hey, Scott. Doing hey. very well up so, here in Dave. sunny Spokane. So you're going to help us because you know John very well. So let me start with this one man, ladies and gentlemen, John Pogashar, trying to make a difference in the world. And that's why Scott Harris and I have him on the show today because one person can change the world if the passion is there, if the idea is there. And the idea, John, is what? What is the idea of putting love on hundreds of billboards all over the United States. That's what they had you on the Today Show. I'll ask you about that in a minute. But what is your thought about putting the word love all over the United States? You know, the idea was just, it was going to be a social experiment. And it was just like, hey, if I could put love on a billboard, that would be a great way to push that word out there and maybe some feeling behind it. And not only hoping that people would find love inside themselves, but also in you know in in nature in their fellow human being and just how can we use that so much more than some of the other things that we see on billboards? So it's like let's just put love out there and see what happens. And it did. It went out all around the world. Now it's been in five different countries, fourteen different states, and yeah, on the Today Show in the Jason Mraz video. So, yeah, wow. it's pretty cool. And here's where you screwed up on this. You should have put love raisin raisin brand. Raisin <laughs> bread. Love raisin bread. I love yeah. I love raisin bread. Love. So when I saw you on the Today Show, I'm going, Oh my God, what a great idea. Uh, tell me about that experience. How did you get on the Today Show? Well, you know, um, I had put the, the billboards up in Spokane, and then we had some friends that lived in Los Angeles, um, and they were so kind. They gave us, um, Outfront Media gave us exposure with a billboard for um, for a month for free. So then I think the producers from, I believe it's CBS, saw, the, um, saw it, and all of a sudden started calling me and said, we want to put a story on the Today Show on February 14th. And so then they, I gave them the story, and then um, 
the people out there on the Today Show, they were so awesome. They did just this beautiful story on love and putting that up there. And they did have a bunch of film shots from Columbus, Ohio, that where we had billboards also. And so it was really cool. You know, it's funny. You put an idea out there and everybody clamors to it if they, if they love it and, and want to jump on it with you. That, that's, that's wonderful. Do you know whereabouts in L.A. they put these um, billboards? Shoot. They, I think, um, gosh, why can't I think this? Um, I, just and, think, yeah. I was think um, Ventura, Ventura Way was one of them. Um, okay. But then, you know, they ended up, out front was so kind because I called them after our month was up. I said, what else can we work with you guys? And they said, we'll give you 24 more months for free. So, wow. which blew me away because I know advertising cost is expensive in Los Angeles, but they just loved the idea and wanted to be part of it. They just said, let's do this. So they put another six months. And so it moved around Los Angeles, all different places. So That's should, fantastic. You should, you now, should, who, who's the name of the company that did this for you? Outfront Media. Say it again. Outfront Media. Media. Out front, out media. Front, yeah. Out front. Okay. yeah. Give them a little yeah. plug. Right. Out front, out media. front media. Wow. So, uh, Scott Harris, I could see you putting the billboard uh, sponsored by Scott Harris. That, get your name out there. It would? Yeah. Get your name. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm serious. Get your name out there. So, uh, when I was watching the Today Show, uh, I, uh, what's her name? Samantha? Is it Samantha, the co hostess? Yeah. Samantha. You don't watch I, it? I, she no. really got moved. No, did she, she did, really? Yeah, she really got moved on it. So when you look at uh, the billboard, why the billboard versus some other form of media? I'm curious. You know, I, I was um, in California for six, well, for a couple of weeks meditating and exploring Kings Canyon National Park, you know, and looking at the sequoia trees, and I'm just thinking, how could I put love out there? And, you know, a billboard just came into my mind, and what, whether it was a download from from God, from universe source, um, it just came into my mind. And that was like, that's the biggest way I knew how to, how to do it. And that's why I use the billboard. It's like, and it just, everything spawned from that. Even the website, the friend of mine that, that, you know, made the website for me, she named it Love on Every Billboard. And it was just so perfect. Everything just started to fall in place. That's interesting. I've been handing out, uh, I, I owe you a check for the cards. Everybody should buy a thousand cards like I did. I bought a thousand cards from uh, John. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so I'm going around to business in Santa Cruz. I went to business this morning, and they love the card. They, they put oh, them on yeah. the counter. Oh, yeah. yeah. They, they should. No, Absolutely I mean, they, they, should. they yeah. So um, the other thing, I was in. Um, uh, Vons this morning. I, uh, you probably don't know what Vons is. It's a supermarket down here in Southern California. So uh, the uh, I took one of the business cards. I shouldn't probably say this on the air. I'm not going to say it. Never mind. Uh, I'm going to tell you. That, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you off the okay. air. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll tell Dave Kreiger what okay. I did off the air. But uh, every every business should have a love business card on the counter. You know why? It makes people feel good and that's what your message is is for people to stop for a second and reflect on their life reflect on the word am i right on this uh john no you're you're dead on you're dead on right it's just like reflect on that word reflect on what it means to you you know what it means i need to be kinder to the people in my life or kinder to people at work or my children or what have you or just kinder myself you know, because a lot there's a lot of times when we'll beat ourselves up because like we missed the not we missed this thing or we missed this you know, and why did we do that and you know you stupid stupid but it's like how about we just love ourselves more and just love each other more and just I mean what kind of world would we have if we would just do that just spread that love more so Boy, but we, I totally we, agree put we, that on yeah every we, business we need you in our life John we 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 need to take a moment and just reflect on just what you said. Our wonderful guest today, John Pokashar, with the billboards called Just Love on it. It's a beautiful word. Uh, his billboards are all red with the white letters uh, all over the United States. So uh, before we bring Dave Krieger on, who uh, built your website, uh, did a hell, heck of a job. He is uh, considered America's top web builder, so it's interesting you got him involved. But your goal is to have 
every state have uh, numerous billboards. Is that your goal? I would love that. I would love to have every state have numerous billboards. I would love to have every country have a billboard, you know, and I'd love to, you know, when Dave came to me and said, let's put up a film, I said, yes, let's do this. Let's put up a film and just kind of tell everybody the story and just see what happens out of that. We just need to spread more love. It's pretty simple. As far as putting a, the the movie together, is is the movie to talk about a little bit about your the process of doing this and how you did it and what you hope to gain out of it? Is that is that the goal? Yeah, I think that's that's a, a lot of it. A lot of that is going to be there, and I know Dave has his own idea of what he'd like to share. So I'd like to hear you know what what Dave has to say about that too. Hey, hey, Dave, are you there? Still there? Oh, we lose Dave. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm, oh, I'm back. Oh, there you are. You're back. So, back. so t- tell tell us uh, what you think. What, what's your goal? Well, you know, the the goal with this film is to be able to help John and the Love Billboard uh, <coughs> movement be able to move forward and make and create more awareness out in communities across the globe. It's not just the U.S. You know, John's gone from one state to 14 states to five countries, Mm -hmm. and we're going to tell those stories of all these people that have served and supported uh, from all these different places throughout the U.S. and Canada and Austria and New Zealand and, and Russia and be able to share that so more people are aware of it. And, you know, beyond the billboards, there's yard signs and there's cards and there's postcards and there's bus boards. There's all different campaigns that people can participate in in their community. And we're going to share that in the film and what has happened so naturally and organically in the past three years. Wow. So this has been going on now for for over three years that, the, that, um, that, these, that these billboards have been up and uh, around the country and in different, you know, uh, different, these different locations is that uh, uh, I guess as I'm looking at this you have a billboard yeah. in Russia yeah we had 22 billboards in Russia Scott wow. oh my um, goodness a young, a young lady called me up and said her company a company called SCG um, wanted to they were a media company and they wanted to use that on <clears throat> um, February 14th in 2019 and I was um, said, um, uh, I couldn't believe, you know, Russia would be that first first country we'd go to. I knew we'd go international because we had so much traction. Um, but Russia, you know, said, yeah, let's, let's put it here. So it was really cool for that to happen. We just had a billboard go up today in Boise, Idaho. So that's really wow. cool. Now, it, so they're, it, it, they're popping up all over the place. So, uh, so John, give us a give us a little insight into uh, your 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 kind of prior life and what led you to to this point to to want to do this. You know, I had um, twenty six years in a career at, at Nordstrom, where I did all sorts of different things for the company, sold shoes, and did the receiving department and. And then um, probably about, I don't know, six or seven years ago, I decided I was done um, with working for right now. It's 56 years old. I just retired and um, started going to a coffee shop and engaged with some, um, some other retired people and just were constantly hearing about what they did, what they had done, mm-hmm. um, but no new stuff. And it's like, do I want to be doing this? Do I just want to be going to coffee shops and talking about yesterday's news? And I love those people, and they were they were wonderful, and they did give me this eye perspective. It's like, I don't want to be retired. I want to keep working. So, um, um, and then I think, remember one day when I yelled out into my, my kitchen, like, where is all the love in the world? And it was, you know, right before the election between um, Hillary and Trump. And mm-hmm. it was probably about a year away. Right. 
and I'm just yelling, and all of a sudden a gentleman shows up on my Facebook feed. His name is Kyle Cease, and Kyle becomes a, a mentor of mine just talking about how love can be so much more in your heart, you know, and for that inner child that we all have, you know, that sometimes kind of gets dissed um, in our lives. And so it's like, this is where I wanted to go. And I had no idea about what transformation was all about, but I was to find out later that love really had to start with myself. And I think that's how the billboards got started because I was trying to find it in myself before I could say, hey, we need it in the world. So. Well, I mean, that's, uh, you know, I know I know a lot of people in the world that uh, struggle with the concept of love, and more times than not, it starts right with themselves in the sense that uh, they're, they're hypercritical of the way they are, the things they do in their lives, the mistakes they've made, the pain they may have caused other people, can't forgive themselves, and... Uh, and and so they get in a point where you know they don't they don't in essence love themselves and it's very yeah. hard to love other people if you don't love yourself yeah that, and i also think Scott, that we constantly think we can find it in somewhere else outside of ourselves you know whether it be in a relationship whether it was gosh if i can just get the new job mm-hmm. you know I'll finally get there i'll finally you know fall in love with myself and you get to that point and i have been there myself and it's like okay what's next Right. It's like, you got to look inside. Right. Look inside. It's so true that uh, what you both said, that it starts with yourself. If, if we beat ourselves up every day, and I don't get it. I mean, I struggle myself, Scott. Mm-hmm. Sunday night, I had Pittsburgh minus five. <laughs> and and they, they only won by three, and I beat right. myself up all night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's terrible. I mean, it's, it's terrible. But, you know, like, I love you. I truly yeah. love you. You know that. I uh, know have, that. And, 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 and it's such a gift. It's a, gi- it's a gift that you give to yourself, but you give to other people. And it's that bridge love that builds true relationships. And no, we just have to does. figure out how to how to get the message out. So that's why we're doing the show today, ladies and gentlemen, right. on the Edge Radio Show. Scott Harry's and the coach Emily's producing the show. We're going to go to break here in a couple of minutes. I want to ask you a, a serious question when we come back from break. And the serious que- well, I'm going to tease the audience. It's a very serious question. Uh, I'll save it. So, Krieger, Dave Krieger, our dear friend, um, when you look at uh, telling this story. It's, it's a story that needs to be told because it could change the world. I mean, if done right, uh, Mr. Krieger, a lot of pressure on you to do this right. Are you, are you scared? Are you nervous? Not at all. You know, we started with John when he first launched this back in the fall of 2018, exactly three years ago. And so we were vested in the story from the get-go mm-hmm. and really saw what could be with this. And when I reapproached him with this, I had been thinking about this all summer long, for this past summer. And I really believe in my heart that with this film and the trailer and the other pieces to it, and John's going to be writing a book this next year, that we're going to be able to positively touch so many people that are hurting out there with this message. And so we're, we're 110% coach. I love it. Let's take a break. We're going to come back. I'll ask that question, a pretty serious question of our guest, uh, Dave Krieger. John, uh, you pronounce his last name. Pogachar. Pogachar from Spokane, Washington. We'll be right back on the Edge Radio Show on award winning. I'm not serious. I am serious when I say this. This station has won every award because they love this community and they give the owners of this station give everything back. We'll be right back. Healthcare can be difficult if you're underinsured or have Medi-Cal. Samuel Dixon Family Health Center can help. Services are available on a sliding fee schedule. The mission of the Samuel Dixon Family Health Center is to give the Santa Clarita Valley access to affordable, quality primary care. There are three locations to serve you, Canyon Country, Newhall, and Valverde. Go to sdfhc.org for more information and to find the location most convenient for you. Save water and save money. 
SCV Water wants to help you find your fit and take advantage of conservation rebate programs that will help you save. Water your landscape more efficiently. Replace your lawn with water-wise plants. Conduct free in-home water surveys. Cover your swimming pool and more. Find the programs that fit your needs and start saving today. Visit conserve.yourscvwater.com to learn more. That's conserve.yourscvwater.com. Caballero Circus is coming to town October 22nd through November 1st. An amazing spectacle of delight featuring the biggest active trapeze, the quadruple somersault, incredible acrobats, contortionists, and side splittingly funny clowns, and the most talented dancers. Fiesta Fiesta by Caballero Circus. That only comes once a year. 11 days only. Artists from Venezuela, Mexico, Africa, Russia. Countless superhuman performances for memories to last a lifetime. Everyone, children and adults alike, will delight in the performance that features spectacular show artists from around the world. Plus, much more. Caballero Circus in Valencia, October 22nd through November 1st. With plenty of hot dogs, cotton candy, nachos, refreshing beverages, and more. Buy tickets at the box office or circocaballero.com. Caballero Circus at the Westfield Valencia Town Center. Children 10 and under get a $10 discount with a paid adult ticket. One show daily at 7.30, two shows on Saturday, and three on Sunday. For more info, call 844-372-9276. Caballero Circus. Great healthcare just got easier and more convenient in Canyon Country. Facey Canyon Country is now open directly off the Soledad Canyon exit off the 14 freeway. The 37,000 square foot clinic houses Facey Medical Group primary care physicians, pediatricians, and specialists. Facey has easy 24-7 online appointment scheduling for PCPs and PEDS. For more information or to make an appointment, visit Facey.com. That's F-A-C-E-Y.com. I listen to it all day, every day. Hometown, your hometown station. Welcome back, everybody. We're live on Facebook, so you can see Scott Harris and the coach and I. We've got 55,000 followers on Facebook on award-winning KHTS 98.1 FM, 1220 AM. So, Emily, um, if you saw the word love on a billboard, how would this, would that register with you? What would that mean to you? It would probably just make me feel good. See, yeah. that's Make me why you think happiness. Ah, there you go. There you go. There you go. So I'm going to take my serious question and transfer it over to you, <laughs> Scott <laughs> Aries. Okay. So, uh, John, I'm going to go back to what we were talking about uh, prior, if that's okay with you. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what what I'd like to do is just ask you. You know. Uh, obviously, something really motivated you to dig deep within yourself to understand where where is the love in the world or where do I find love and and uh like and you said this earlier in our first segment that you know if you're looking for love uh you know through the material world or material things and and material places it's very hard to find it uh the only place I've ever really felt love in uh, in the material world is uh, on a ski slope uh, high up in the mountains but uh you never, you never <laughs> felt love on the golf course with me i well, told you hit that great no, shot but that's on, not, number, on the six hole yeah but that's not but that's that's not uh that really hurts the, my no, feelings no, no, no that's not the material mind. world that's that's you and i connecting on a different level i'm talking about you know looking for this in material things and and you mentioned something here about you know going back to your your father, and you know the, a relationship that may not have been as uh, strong as you wanted, and that's been something that you've dealt with throughout your life, and now you're dealing with it in a different way, and trying to spread uh, the pos- you know positive feelings of of love around. So, I, do you want to expound a little bit on that? Yeah, I'll talk about it. Okay. Um, you know, within trying to find you know the love in myself, I had to go back, and I, you know, um, 
Sorry about that. Mm-hmm. Um, but I had to, you know, go back and, and find, you know, where's, where's the love in myself and what's missing. And so some counseling sessions with my dear friend, Kyle Keith, and listening. We were on a coaching call with 50 other people, and you start thinking about where where is that, you know. And it always kind of, for me and for that group of people, it all kind of led back to the inner child, you know, that kind of got, you know, snuffed out when he was, you know, between five and six and, you know, even up to being a teenager. And I can remember um, wanting my dad to see me. And it's like, but forgetting that I need to see myself, you know, before I could have, but, you know, in that wanting for him to see me, it was like, you know, I had drawn some, a picture. I thought, I want some approval of this. Tell me you think this is good, you know, and to hear this little kid is looking up to his father for protection, for food, for all these different things. And he's getting this, "Eh, it's okay, you know. And he wasn't the one. He loved to take us fishing, but it's like drop us by the side of the bank. And then he would take off and go to an area that we couldn't get to. Um, And it's like, stay here. I don't want you to get hurt. And But within that, it was like, hey, I want to be a part of what you're doing, and I want your approval. And I found myself doing that for so long, chasing his approval, even you know, as as you grow up and you, you become an adult. And then it's like, gosh, if I just make enough money and just get the right job, maybe he would approve of what I'm doing. And I know I wanted to be, at one time, I was going to be, you know, I was um, become a police officer, but he was so against that, hmm. just so against that. I think he was, you know, afraid that I, could, I was going to get hurt or whatever. But constantly chasing his approval, constantly doing that, and then, you know, and so there's a lot of thought that goes into that. It's like, how about just see yourself for who you are and be okay with who you are and love your ideas, you know, and, and if somebody else doesn't, you know, doesn't approve of it, it doesn't matter. It's what you think. It's, you know, we all have this Christ within us that is trying to get us to see ourselves first, you know, and if somebody else you know, thinks what you do is great or resonates with them, great. That's that's icing on the cake. But you really have to see it for yourself because if you don't, then there's this this constant chasing. It's like when I finally just sat down and cried and cried and cried out everything about wanting to my, get my dad's approval, things just started to turn around. So, wow, that's quite a story. Yeah, that, I mean, I, yeah. It, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough thing to go through. Um, and I... You know, we've we on in on on different shows and in different ways we've had uh, some of those things have come out about uh, my life and the, you know I I think the one that probably was the, you know the toughest was we actually had a handwriting expert who was uh, you know who, who had been uh, connecting with us through Twitter and and Facebook and all kinds of stuff and we had her on the show and so uh, I was I was you know, saying, "Hey, you gotta, you gotta look at my handwriting." So I, so I, I write, I take a picture of my handwriting because I was taking notes, and I sent it to her, and said, "Why don't you, why don't you just tell me, you know, real quick what, what you see in there?" And the, and she goes, "Well, you know, it, there's a lot more to it than just, you know, looking at someone's handwriting. There's a lot you do, but," and I, I pressed her and pressed her a little bit, and she goes, "Well, okay." She goes, "Look." Um, you know, are you prepared for this? And I go, yeah, sure. And she said, without, <laughs> she, she just said, well, the first thing that just jumps right out at me is that uh, through your handwriting, that uh, throughout your life, and still to this day, you have sought your father's approval. <laughs> oh, wow. And I just, I mean, you, you know, you could have heard a pin drop, and I couldn't even talk. I mean, I just like about lost it right there. Yeah, he did. <laughs> there was uh, so many things so. Uh, that you said that touched me too. You you said uh, that so many of us get uh, our love snuffed out yeah. in a young age. That that happened to me. I don't want to get in my story unless you want to pay me nineteen ninety five. But wait, there's more. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> when when uh, you said something else that really touched me, and and Mr. Krieger knows this too because we've had a conversation. Um, I decided 18 that uh, I had to turn to something, uh, and I turned to I turned to God. And I think when when you understand that God loves you, and I I don't want to get into a big religious thing, but you know if you don't like the word God, pick 
use the word universe. There, there's, you're not the most important person in the world. There's something else bigger than you. And, and if you realize that and you turn your life over to that bigger discussion, like God, Jesus, whatever, whatever your, whatever your God is, whatever your universe it is, it makes it a lot easier to go through this life. Don't you think, John and, and Mr. Krieger, Dave Krieger? Absolutely, absolutely, 100%. It's a, it's a guiding light. Yes, I love um, that. On a, on a daily basis yes. to keep you centered and moving true north. Beautifully said. It's a yep. guiding light. So, uh, if and and if you know that God loves you, then you can learn to love yourself. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Scott Harris. I, I think so. I mean, for me, that's always been the big it, issue. Because you're a child of God too. Yep. We all are. Yeah. And it's, and I think that sometimes when we under, you know, we think of the grand scheme of things and what's out there and what's going on, and and then we look at our mistakes or things that we've done that may have caused pain and sorrow in other people's lives, and then you can't forgive yourself and you can't move on. And then you realize that there is someone there that, that does forgive you regardless of who you are, and and that gives you that hope that you can move on in your own life. And that's why this billboard that has love on it yeah, is so I, simple. So let's talk about what, what maybe uh, we have a listener or, or uh, Scott Harry's with his contacts or my contacts. When, when you look at a potential national advertiser, I could see like Ford or, or some big company. Would it be okay? Uh, your billboards just have love. Uh, could it, is it too commercial to say love brought to you by Ford Motor Company or Pepsi? Is that, is that too uh, commercial? No, I think in the film, you know, maybe we'd have somebody, um, you know, I probably Dave speaks to this there with the, the jargon, but you know, you would have you would have to have people that you know put money into the film and stuff. And well, so this could, could be could a have... net. This could be a Netflix story, right, Dave Krieger? Yeah, absolutely. We we're going to be taking this uh, out to the different channels and talking to all of them, including PBS, and ideally, you know, Coach Scott. We're we're looking for that company that can come along with us you know, for the 15 month run and, and be with us. And, mm -hmm. and that would align with the messaging. And also, you know, as we're uh, reaching out, you know, to the media and at the film festivals, we're actually going to be putting up billboards at the film festivals mm. as we, as we show and premiere. So we really are looking for those, you know, one or two companies that they want the exposure, the brand exposure, but they also want to be received in a positive light. Right. What yeah. about uh, who's Kim Kardashian? Uh, I know she's separated. Kim, uh, Emily, who is her husband? Uh, he Kanye would, West. Yeah, Kanye West could be a player for this. Yeah. I mean, he's full of love, right? He's talking about love all the time. Yeah, he is, especially in in their in his communities. Um, you know, it's interesting. That I I think that uh, in different communities and in different ways, uh, there are people who come out and try and do something like this very positively. And obviously today we're in the world of uh, social media. So this, you know, a lot of things can happen more quickly and you, your reach is much further. But, you know, when I was growing up in, uh, in Reno, there was a guy that, um, you know, every time I drove up, uh, you, you drove south uh, on 395, you know, out of town or back north on 395 back into town there was always this gentleman who was walking and he was, uh, you know, he wasn't homeless or anything like that guy. was a well-built guy, you know, big guy, blonde, curly hair, you know, probably in his late 30s, early 40s at the time. And uh, he walked every day and uh, went down one side, down the other, and he spent his whole day doing this. And his whole job was is that as he walked by every car that passed, he reached out and he waved at him, gave him a big smile. And basically, that was his message of, you know, of love and care and concern. And I remember uh, finally stopping and talking to him one time uh, when I was riding my bike, actually, to find out about the guy. And he had, you know, had a, almost a near-death experience, and then he wanted to make a difference in life. And so this is how he did it. But 
you know, he, it was just, you couldn't help but just have the biggest smile on your face when you saw him and afterwards had good positive thoughts. And it was kind of the same thing. Now, what you're doing is taking this in a, in, in a much bigger way and you're taking it uh, worldwide. And so I commend you. I think this is a great idea and I, I hope that you get all the support, funding, and uh, uh, that uh, that you need to make this thing uh, go the way you want. Yeah, it. It's interesting. Uh, let's talk about a couple of ideas. Uh, I bought a thousand business cards. You should buy a thousand sure. business cards. I'll I do mean, that. if we could get a thousand people to buy Emily, we buy a thousand business cards. <laughs> sure. Yeah. So uh, think about it. If everybody bought, I know it sounds like a, a little tiny idea, but this thing could grow. Think about a million people buy uh, a thousand business cards and they just hand them out. What's wrong with that idea? Nothing. It's perfect. Nothing. Yeah. yeah. Know, it's and and, st- wants and to yeah. Express it or wants to jump on board and do it. I have a friend in. Um, she no longer lives in Spokane, and she lives in Priest River, Idaho. Um, but they had grabbed hold of some lawn, some yeah lawn signs and put those out, and they have a little church, and so they could, we give out these lawn signs to people. Um, so they oh, have them. There's an know, idea. Lawn signs. Their yeah. yeah. And she would go to the hospitals and hand out the love cards because she also does the love cards. So. So uh, well, on the back a, of the card, idea. yeah, on the front it's a beautiful card. Here, look, I'm holding it up to everybody on Facebook. Uh, you can see the card there on Facebook. Uh, on the back of the card it says, Love Billboard Film. That's you, uh, Mr. Krieger, right, Dave Krieger? LoveBillboardFilm.com? Yeah, that's you, that's you need a big star on there, either a Scott Harry's or uh, <laughs> you, you need a like uh, a, a big time, well, come on, yeah, man, yeah. you're all American at Utah uh, State. Uh, the, the voice of love. Oh, Barry White, huh? Can you do Barry, Barry White? Can you right. do Barry White? Well, I'll have to work on it, but oh my, okay. he's my favorite. Oh my goodness, I'll play some Barry White for That's you in right. a second. Uh, Let's get down and low and slow. <laughs> Come on, Barry. <laughs> you got you cracking Emily up now. Uh, but uh, no, I'm serious, no. Mr. Krieger. Yeah. Uh, you should get a, a star on there. Come on. What star wouldn't want to be associated with love? You know stars. Come on. Sure, but but you got to have you, you got to have someone who's uh, legitimate, what do you right? Mean? Like well, I mean absolutely. Like, yeah, like I mean Jenny you, from the Hood, she's legit. Yeah, but you want someone who legitimately portrays that kind of the the, the Dolly right Parton. Message. Dolly Parton. Yeah. Okay. Why don't you call? You call Dolly Parton. Okay. Huh? <laughs> you call Dolly. Call <laughs> How about Dolly Parton? Emily, who would you think associated with uh, the word love? Got anybody? I, I don't know. Rapper? You got a rapper? Uh, no, not know. a rapper. I don't Do you think listen to rap? That. No, not really. No, not really? Uh, Patty this? does. All right. Uh, we're okay. going to take a quick break. We'll come back. And uh, I want to talk to Mr. Dave Krieger about the film, don't you? Yes. Absolutely. Because yeah, I'm curious how... I want to watch it on Netflix. But I want to see how they're going to be, how you, how you portray it. That's yeah, exactly. Be interesting. Yeah, Dave Krieger will be right okay. back. Lots of people can build websites, but there's one Santa Clarita company that specializes in designing websites for your business, Small Dog Creative. The Small Dog Creative team is made up of local designers who are hands-on. Their talented team of experts build premium websites and redefine branding. Small Dog Creative doesn't just build websites. They'll upgrade your business's online presence and turn your business into a powerful online brand. Small Dog Creative, Santa Clarita's most innovative web and design company. SmallDogCreative.com You just had an accident. Now what? I'm Caesar from Body Shop 661. After you get into a car accident and call your insurance company, chances are they're going to send you to a cut rate auto body just to save themselves some money. So what do I do? Call me at Body Shop 661. Your car will get taken care of as if it were my own. No second rate parts and the job isn't finished until it's done right. Body Shop 661 handles all types of vehicles, foreign and domestic. Plus, I work with all insurance companies. Locally owned and operated for over 20 years, on Ruther, just past Home Depot. Call Body Shop 661 at 251 2252. If you're in danger of losing your home to foreclosure, you need an expert. Hi, I'm Rich Sherman with Alta Realty. I've helped hundreds of Santa Clarita residents save their homes completely for free. I've got just over 20 years' experience and a loan modification success rate of over 80%. 
I can negotiate better terms with your bank and I can save your home from foreclosure. And again, we do this completely for free. So if you're in any danger, please call me today at 661-714-1400. That number again is 661-714-1400. I'm Rich Sherman with Alta Realty. And I'll be happy to help you save your home for free. When you're looking for a midnight snack, sometimes fast food just doesn't cut it. California Bakery and Cafe is open 24-7, so you'll be able to find fresh donuts, danishes, bagels, all-natural fruit juices, gourmet sandwiches, and much more at any hour. With elaborate cakes for any occasion, including weddings, baptisms, anniversaries, corporate events, or any special event, California Bakery and Cafe in Santa Clarita is open 24 hours to satisfy any craving anytime. Call us, 255-1254. That's 255-1254. Sciatica flaring up again? Even after therapy, decompression, or surgery, discover the three most common mistakes that must change to get rid of sciatica for good. Hi, I'm Dr. Thomas Palucky, and WebMD chooses me as best chiropractor and functional medicine in Santa Clarita. Something to think about. So, when you're ready to get better, go to drpalucky.com. That's D R P O L U C K I.com to schedule your free consultation now. Embrace Your Smile has a team of top Santa Clarita orthodontists Dr. Stephen Gilbertson, Dr. Peter Weber, and Dr. Megan LaCornu. I think for me, what makes it stand out is when I have patients that come to me and say, we have never been in a doctor's office that feels like this. Our team is a family and we really get along and we are really passionate about what we do, helping our patients get the smiles they want and deserve. Dr. Megan LaCornu of Embrace Your Smile Orthodontics. Embrace your smile. EmbraceYourSmile.com. It's like no other station I've ever listened to. It's great. Your, your hometown station. Welcome back, welcome back. Barry White and the coach here. Uh, how you doing, Barry? Doing just fine. Oh, man. Oh, can you play, <laughs> Emily, can you find some Barry White somewhere? Come on. Find hey, some so, Barry. you know find what? We've got, a, we've got a great guest on here today, John Pogashar and uh, David Krieger, who we've had on before, who we call the best storyteller in the country. And he's working on a project called Love. And uh, John has been able, John Pogachar has been able to get uh, love on billboards in uh, five countries, 14 states, uh, going on now for, what, 18 months to two years or so? Three years. Three years. And, uh, and so I, I, just real quick to all our listeners out there, uh, if, you, if, you, uh, if you go to the website, lovebillboardfilm.com, uh, it's uh, Dave is uh, as a storyteller is going to put together a, a film uh, re- regarding this uh, uh, effort by John to spread the the message of love around not only around the country but around the world and putting a film together in order to help uh, uh, push that along and so if there's any of of you listeners out there today that would want to be involved in this. Uh, you don't, and it doesn't have to be in a big, big way. But you know, they're going to need to raise, you know, eighty to a hundred grand or so, something like that, to get these thing, this, get this thing off the ground and running, and uh, only maybe twenty or so to get it started. But uh, if you're interested, you know, lovebillboardfilm.com, and uh, and uh, talk to Dave and to John and. Maybe you can be a part of something really great. I think this is going to be a a really interesting project. It's having big impacts. Been on uh, the today. You said the Today yeah, Show. Yeah, it's on the Today Show. Right. Spot of the Today Show and also a Jason Mraz video. And Ooh. that film site is Love Billboard, so it has an S in there. Um, film dot com. Oh, okay. Did I? Uh, it does have an S or does not have an S? Excuse it me. It does have an S. It's love billboards with an S dot com. Okay. So, Dave Krieger, tell us how you're going to develop this. Uh, is it a documentary? How are you going to develop this film so Netflix will beg you to uh, buy it? So, we've put together 
uh, basically 15 stories that John and I are culling down to maybe 10 to 12 stories. And John is going to be narrating and talking about the journey. This is a documentary that's going to be roughly 42 minutes to 45 minutes. And the idea is that the people that were uh, initially involved and are currently involved were selectively uh, talking with them and having them share about what they've been doing. And so we're, we're pulling all those stories, and then John is weaving in the narration, and, and we're basically putting things together where you're going to see John uh, out in nature, you're going to see John in, in different areas, and he's going to be talking how these stories came to be. So very heartfelt, very natural, and talking about how it went from just one idea to the 14 states and five countries and now beyond. Just uh, just a heads up, on the back of your business card, it doesn't have the S. It says, Love Billboard Film. Nope, that was my fault. Yeah. So, but I, we did find it, though. So, uh, lovebillboardsfilm.com. I just went on, on the website. Love on Every Billboard, a documentary film about this yeah. film. And it talks about what's going on and how you might be able to get involved. And, and uh, there's... Uh, pictures of Dave and of John. And so uh, I would encourage everybody to take a look at this. I think this is going to be... Kevin Costner, thing. you know him, Kevin. How about Kevin Costner? Well, he, he, he would be great. Yeah. Maybe we can reach out to him. Yeah, Kevin. So. Well, he lives close to us. Yep. Yeah, Kevin. So. You, know, you know, maybe we could put one up on the set of Yellowstone in Montana. Oh, yeah, there yeah. you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, no, not enough people know, are going to well, see maybe it. it. Yeah, that's... The, we have had them in Hamilton, though, because I know Yellowstone was filmed in Hamilton, Montana. So we have had we have had them in Hamilton before. Right, that's that's a great spot. Maybe we can get some up in uh, in, in Wise River, Montana, because there's a uh, a little place there that I know. But uh, we'll have to we'll have to, we'll have to work on this. Uh, uh, John, we just got a couple minutes. Uh, what would you like to leave with uh, with our audience? Uh, give you a couple minutes here, and we, then we've got to wrap up for the I want to play day. some you Barry know, White. Too. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, uh, I just appreciate being on your show so I can share the story of Love on Every Billboard. And just it um, it means so much to me to, to share that word, love. And I just hope, you know, your audience just takes that in with themselves. You know, it's got to start with yourself. But and then you know the overflow goes out to everybody else. So, well, uh, uh, write this down. Yourself. You also need to get on the local. I know they would put you on KTLA, uh, the morning oh, yeah. show. They would definitely put them on the weekends. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You, uh, uh, the other one that I would I would focus on down here in LA is the the Spectrum One channel. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. They, they like to do those well, kinds of projects. For content. Yeah. yeah, they're looking for content like this, yeah. and and I think it would be great for you guys to try and connect with them so dave uh you and i'll have to talk offline and see if we can't uh, find the right people to connect with but hey we want to thank you for being with us on the edge radio show uh one thing i would say to everybody if you want to have an edge in life one of those things is to have a lot of love in your life right there you go <laughs> yeah thanks for having us guys hey thanks, thanks for being on here with us today we we sure appreciate it Thanks so much for uh, being on the show and for uh, this uh, uh, monumental effort to, to spread love around the world. I think it's, I think it's uh, a, a great effort, and I uh, would love to be a part of it in some way as well. So thanks so much, and, Thank you. Uh, and we'll uh, see you all next week. Coach. Love you, Scott. Love you, brother. All right. Bye, everybody. All right. Have a good day.